Hey, Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. This is the third lesson in a new series of beginner harmonica lessons. So in lesson one and two, we looked at a train rhythm and we learned to play along to a metronome. We've been thinking about our breath control and we've been trying to uh, produce a good tone on the instrument. But so far, we haven't played single notes, clean notes like this. So in today's lesson, I want to help you get your first single notes. All of the ideas in this course are taken from a complete beginner course, a premium course, on my uh, website, learntheharmonica.com. So if you'd like step-by-step -step lessons through loads of techniques, loads of songs, really important stuff, playing the blues, cool stuff like that, then check the link to the course beneath this video. But in today's lesson, we've got an important decision to make, actually, because in order to play melodies, we need to play single notes. Can't go round for the you know rest of time. So we need to work out how to do those. But there are three different ways that are, that are common ways to play the, har the harmonica and play single notes on it. So you need to decide which is for you. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of all three, and I'd love to know in the comments which one uh, which one kind of makes sense to you. I've got an inkling of which one most of you will say, because there is one that's more common, uh, but I'd love to hear, and there's one that's less common that, you know, I'll, uh, I'd always love to hear from people who do that. So, number one is called lip pursing, or sometimes it's called puckering. And the idea of this technique is it's quite intuitive. The idea is you just narrow your mouth down to a single hole. So instead of your mouth being any wider than one, you're kind of trying to make it so it only fits that one little hole there. And uh, that's hole four, and that's the hole I'm going to be using as an example. So... That's what I'm aiming for. And the way I'm doing that is... Trying to make my mouth narrow so that three blow doesn't come uh, into it, doesn't creep in, and five blow doesn't creep in. So it has to be really quite narrow to do that. Um, but try not to get too much tension and, do, and don't force the air. So just like I've spoken about in lessons one and two, you're still trying to stay relaxed and not forcing the air at all because it's not going to help. So that's the absolute... Um, bare minimum, uh, you know, uh, in terms of the lip pursing slash puckering technique. The second technique is called tongue blocking, and it's so called because you're blocking some of the notes with your tongue. So instead of being one hole wide, like that, you're actually four holes wide. So your mouth is over all of those four holes, but then your tongue comes on and blocks one, two, and three and uh, you play this note out of the right-hand side of your mouth. So... So when the tongue's off... You can hear the chord, and then when you put it on, you hear the single note. You might think, why would you do that? And there are reasons, um, and I have lessons on tongue blocking and other associated techniques, um, but there are good reasons for doing such a strange thing with your tongue. Some people do find that um, makes sense to them. Again, let me know in the comments. And then the third technique that some people play is called a U-block. And the reason it's called a U-block is that you curl your tongue, curve your tongue, and block either side with, you know, with a bit of your tongue. So probably only 50% of people watching this video will be able to do this because they say it's genetic, don't they? Is it a recessive gene or something? I don't know. Um, to curl your tongue. So, so you're taking that shape and you're putting it on the instrument. And it just helps anchor where you are so that, again, you're not kind of getting too much over there or too much over there. So, that's a crash course. I'm, you know, I'm aware I haven't really taught you those techniques. I've just introduced you to them um, 
for today because I want you to have a go at all three. I don't want you to feel you have to do one or another of them. So I want you to try them out, see what works for you, let me know in the comments. Um, I do have more instructional stuff on YouTube about those various techniques and uh, also my complete beginner course goes through um, techniques in a lot more detail as well. So if you do want step-by-step -step lessons through your first year of learning um, broken down into easy to follow chunks, then check out the uh, complete beginner course in the description below. So that's what I wanted to do today was just to encourage you to try those out and see which works for you. But the reason you're trying those out is because you need to learn to play songs and you need to learn to play songs with single notes. Um, so I've got loads of free YouTube videos, um, loads of beginner stuff, loads of songs. Um, I played a, some, song, uh, some notes earlier. That's the start of When the Saints Go Marching In. Um, I have a lesson on that, a free YouTube lesson, so you can check that out. If I remember, I'll put a link in the description. If I forget, let me know in the comments. Um, but we're going to talk uh, next lesson in lesson four a bit more about listening to stuff and working it out. And I'm hopefully going to uh, inspire you and empower you to do some of that yourself. So I hope you've enjoyed this lesson, and uh, if you have, please click like and subscribe to my channel. If you click the little bell, then that means that you'll know every time I put a free harmonica lesson up, which is every week, or two every week at the moment. So uh, great for you and great for me. I'll see you next lesson. Until I do, good luck with your practice. Cheers.